Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the headlight switch on this 2003 Chevy Monte Carlo. And the items you'll need is a new headlight switch from 1AAuto.com, 7mm socket and ratchet, T25 Torx bit, flat blade screwdriver, and an E5 external Torx bit. Underneath your steering wheel, you'll see this panel. You want to just push in these two tabs and pull it down, then twist the socket free and pull the bulb out. And then you want to remove these two 7mm screws. Pull out your fuse panel door, and especially make sure that the lower clip comes out, and then pull basically straight back on the lower panel on both sides, and then use a small flat blade screwdriver to help you release the clip on the harness and remove the harness. Inside here, there's a T25 screw. Just go ahead and remove that. And then pry out on this lever. And it just pulls free. And then you can pull the panel straight down. And then unhook it and pull it forward. Next, you want to remove these two E5 external Torx bolts. There's one right here, and then one right here on the other side. And we'll just fast forward as Mike removes those. Once those are removed, you can pull this upper panel up and off. Now pull this panel off the rest of the way and remove this 7mm bolt right here. And once you remove this bolt, you can actually pull the um, dash panel forward enough that you can get to the headlight switch, but we do show you how to remove the dash panel fully um, for the easiest access. Pull down your glove box and then remove the 7mm bolt right up here. Pry off this bezel. And then pull out on either side of the dash panel. And you want to just feel for the clips back behind it and pull out. And once you get it free, just pull it forward. Use a flat blade screwdriver to disconnect the hazard switch and be careful while doing this because uh, you can break the bezel fairly easily. Now put your keys in the ignition and turn it to the on position and pull your shifter back all the way and then lift your dash panel up and out. Now you want to remove these three 7mm bolts, and we'll fast forward as Mike does that. Pull the switch out, and then pry out on the top and bottom tabs, holding in the harness, and pull the harness free. And now your switch is free. On the left is our original part. On the right is the new part from 1A Auto. You can see there's a hole um, on the bezel. Uh, that's because the part from 1A Auto will fit cars with fog lights as well. Um, the switches are the same and they mount exactly the same. Uh, ours just has provisions if you have the fog lights. 
our vehicle is a little more rare and doesn't have fog lights so we kind of do the um, simple and inexpensive method of closing that hole out which is just some black electrical tape put it on there um, and unless somebody really knows your car they're not going to notice uh, that little repair but reinstall the um, harness connection put it back in place and reinstall the three screws that hold it in place To reinstall the dash panel, open up your glove box, turn the key to the on position and pull the shifter all the way back, pull your steering wheel down, and then tuck the dash panel back behind the steering wheel. Now reconnect your harness. Then you can slide your shifter forward and remove the key. And then push the dash panel back in the rest of the way. And then just push in the clips all the way around it. And we'll fast forward as Mike replaces those two 7mm bolts and tightens them up. And just push this bezel back into place. Tilt the steering wheel back down. And then feed this upper panel back into place. And push it back down. and replace those two E5 inverted Torx bolts. Now feed in the lower panel. And you want to push the back, back behind, and reclip those two hooks. and then swing up the front and push it into place. And then just replace that T25 Torx screw. Reconnect the harness to your switch and then line up the panel and push it back into place. And then replace the two seven millimeter bolts at the bottom of the panel. Push the bulb back into the socket and twist it back into this panel. And then feed the panel back. And then just push it back up into place. And just finish off by pushing the tilt lever back into place. And putting your fuse panel cover back into place. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.